Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to add Google Ad Mob ads, including interstitial, banner, and rewarded ads, to your project. I'll also show you how to create an Ad Mob account and copy your app ID. Let's get started. First, go to the Google Ad Mob website and click on the sign up button to get started. Once the page loads, you'll see a checkbox. Just click yes and then continue. Next, select your country from the list, then scroll down and accept the terms by checking the boxes. After that, click on start using AdMob. Now here, you'll need to verify your phone number. Enter your phone number and Google will send you a verification code. Type the code in the field and hit submit. After that, click on continue to add mob. Great. Your account has now been created. Click on close and then from the left hand menu, select apps. We're going to create a new app. So click on add your first app. Choose your platform. In our case, we'll go with Android. At the bottom, you'll see a question. Have you published your app on the Google Play Store? Select no for now, since we're just testing. Then click on continue. Next, give your app a name. I'll name uh, mine AdMob Test. And finally, click Add App. Once it's done, hit Done. Now, let's go ahead and create an Add Unit. Click on Add Unit, then click on Add Add Unit. Here, you'll be able to choose between three types of ads, Banner, Interstitial, Rewarded. You can select whichever type you need. For now, I'll go with Banner. Now, in this section, you need to give your Add Unit a name. You can name it anything you want. I'll name it Add Mob Test. Then click on Create Add Unit. Add Mob will now generate two codes for you. The Add Unit ID. This is the unique identifier for this specific ad. The App ID. This is essential for initializing Add Mob in your app. All right. First, we open Unity Hub and create a new 2D project. I'll name this project Google AdMob Ads. Click on Create Project. Now we just wait a few moments for Unity to load the project. Okay, the project has loaded successfully. Next, go to the File menu and click on Build Settings. Here, we need to switch the platform to Android. So, select Android from the list and click on Switch Platform. Once the platform has been switched to Android, you can close this window. Now, we're ready to start setting everything up step by step. Okay, let's go to GitHub address and download Google Mobile Ads Unit Package. After the download is complete, go back to Unity. Then go to Assets menu and click on Import Package, Custom Package. From here, select the file you just downloaded and click on Open. A new window will pop up showing all the files to be imported. Just click import and wait for the process to complete. Okay, hold on. Once the import is finished, we now go to Assets, Google Mobile Ads, Settings. Here we need to add our app ID for Android. 
if you're also targeting iOS, you can add that as well. I'll now go back to the Admo website, copy the Android app ID, then return to Unity and paste it into the Android field. There's nothing else you need to do here for now. Let's, let's create an app ID for iOS as well. Go back to add mob, click add app. And this time select iOS as the platform. Once again, select no when asked if the app is published. Then click continue, enter the name. I'll use the same name as before, add mob test and click add app. Now repeat the same steps. Click done, then add, add unit, choose banner, give it a name, I'll use add pop test again, and click create add unit. Now, copy the iOS app ID and paste it into the iOS field. Perfect. Now inside the assets folder in Unity, let's create a new folder and name it scripts. Inside this folder, we'll create a new C -sharp script and call it add manager. Add manager. Okay, great. Now wait a moment while Unity finishes importing everything. Once it's ready, double click Add Manager to open it in Visual Studio. I'm going to start writing the code for our Add Manager in this script. Let me maximize this window so we can see it better. Okay. Okay. Download the Ad Manager script from my GitHub and paste them into the Ad Manager script in Unity. And I'll explain every part of the code in details and then we'll test it inside Unity. Okay. First, we have this necessary namespace at the top. And we have our class. Then inside the class, we'll first create a singleton instance. This lets us access this class from anywhere in the project. Then we're using Google official test IDs here by sure to replace them with your real IDs when going live. And here are the iOS versions. And if we're running on an unsupported platform, we'll just assign default values. Next, we declare the add objects. This will be our add containers during runtime. Okay. Now we have awake method to initialize the singleton. This ensures only one add manager exists throughout the game in the start method we'll initialize the google mobile ads sdk then we immediately load all the ad types we have three kind of ads here and then we implement the load banner ad this Place a standard banner at the bottom of the screen. Then create a basic ad request. Then add listeners to track the load status. And finally, load the ad. Now, write the load interstitial ad method. 
This says always clean up old ads before loading new ones. Now, here add a fresh ad, load a fresh ad. We register events to events so the ad reloads automatically when closed. Here we create a method to show the interstitial ad. Then we will create the load rewarded ad method. Same thing here, always clear old ads before loading new ones. Now request a new rewarded ad. And again, register the events. And here, create a method to show the rewarded ad. Okay. Now, let's go back into Unity and test our banner ad. First, click on the plus icon in the hierarchy and create a new game object. Let's name it Ad Manager and attach the Ad Manager script to it. Now, let's hit play to test it. As you can see, the banner ad loads successfully. And in the console, you'll also see the logs related to it. Just like that. Perfect. Before we move on and test interstitial ad, if you're feeling this video helpful so far, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. Next, let's go ahead and implement the interstitial ads. I'll go ahead and create another game object by clicking the plus icon again. I'll name this one interstitial ads. And I'll make it a child of the ad manager. Now let's add a UI button. Go to UI, legacy button, and Unity will create one for us. Let's wait a second for it to be created. Great. Now let's resize the button. I disable the light here to make things easier to see. I'll enlarge the button a bit using the rect tool. Now I'll change the text on the button to say load interstitial add. Also, let's increase the font size to make it easier to read. All right. Now go to the button component, click the plus icon under on click and drag in the ad manager game object. From the function drop down, choose ad manager show interstitial ad. This is the method that shows our interstitial ad. Let's hit play again as expected. Our banner ad is still there, and we can see in the console that interstitial ad loaded is printed. Now, when I click the button, you'll see the game pauses, and the interstitial and interstitial ad is displayed. Once I close the ad, the game resumes automatically, and that's how interstitial ads work. Now, let's test the rewarded ads as well. Just like before, I'll either click the plus icon or right click and create a new game object. I'll name this one Rewarded Ads. Let's create another button, just like we did before. We'll resize it again. I'll make it a bit bigger and then move it up on the screen so it's visible. You can also hold the shift while resizing to maintain proportions.
I'll change the text to say rewarded ad or load rewarded ad and increase the font size to match the interstitial button. All right, now we'll set up the unclick event. Go to the buttons unclick section, click plus, and drag the add manager game object into the slot. From the function drop down, choose add manager, show rewarded add. Perfect, everything is set up. Now let's hit play and test it. You'll see in the console that the rewarded ad has successfully loaded. Now, when I click the button, the rewarded ad plays and it works just as expected. I hope you found this video helpful so far. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the next tutorials. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.